Let's talk about rabbit snares. What do we need? We need some 100 pound test picture wire. You can buy this at any hardware store. One sixteen penny nail and a pair of wire cutters with pliers. You need about three feet of this wire for one snare. You're going to take your 16 penny nail and you're going to lay a tag over that thing about two and a half to three inches long and you're going to wrap it around tightly three times and you're going to come around and you're going to twist that down with your pliers and pull out the nail. Okay, the wire will have memory in it from being on the coil. Take advantage of that and find the end of that and then pull it straight out and go straight through the eye that you just created here. A pretty good snare. And you want this thing to be about the size of your fist. You can just take a little bit of a kink in the wire right there so that it doesn't ride up the wire and then take the rest of this and straighten it out. So now we have left the memory in this snare with this hook right here to hold the snare in place. So when the rabbit jumps through here, it's gonna immediately drop down. Okay. You should be able to see that's a pretty well-worn game trail coming out of this woods. And there's a small tree right over the top of the trail, right where it takes a little dip. We're gonna take advantage of that to set up a spring-powered snare. Real simple. Stay with me. All right, this branch right here is pretty much right over the trail. So I just want to take any limbs off of it that might keep it from operating smooth and quick and leave everything else. And then I'm going to cut it off right here with a saw and we're going to bring it straight down to the trail here to power our snare. That's right here. It's pretty much right over the trail. So we're going to go ahead and cut this fork out of it here so that there's nothing that's slowing it down from moving. And it's going to spring very, very quickly. We want to make sure that this branch is straight over our trap, not off to one side or the other, straight up and down over our trap. All right, by taking one long stick and cutting it off at a 45, I give myself two stakes for this trap. And I only need one other piece of wood for this and it'll be a crossbar. And it can be a little smaller in diameter than this. And it just needs to be as wide as we plan on making this trap. Now we're gonna take both of these pieces of wood. We're gonna come down about an inch and we're going to cut one saw kerf in here to make a seven notch in each one of these. So we'll put this on our leg real quick and even them up. And we'll just come in here, we'll cut about halfway through that material. And then we'll carve a seven notch in there. Okay, the trail comes up right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pound one of these stakes on each side, right here at the dip, directly below just like this and just like this. Now, what we want to make sure that we do is we want these notches to be opposing. So we want one on this side and with the other one on the other side. Now the reason for having these on each side is so that the stick goes in at an angle this way and it's pulled straight up. And it doesn't matter if it comes off this side or if it's pulled this direction, it's going to come off. Either direction is coming straight up in the air because this is what we're gonna connect our snare to hanging over the trail and to our spring pole straight over the top. So now we're just gonna cut a little notch in this spring pole and put our wire in. Okay, we've got that same wire snare that we made and we're going to Bring it out just a little bit and kink it so that it drops straight down when it gets bumped. Then we're going to attach it here, just like this, with a couple good wraps. And if you've got your pliers with you, crank that thing down on there. Okay, now the next step is to take the crossbar and wrap it around the crossbar and around here two times so that it doesn't slip just like this. So basically now your snare, the entire snare is sitting underneath this crossbar, just like this. Now you should be able to pull this down, lock it in place and adjust your snare loop to exactly where you want it. And it's a little bit up off the ground 
about the size of a rabbit right there. And what you'd want to do now is you'd want to kind of fence this a little bit, maybe put just a stick there or something or a tuft of grass, something that he's not going to want to walk through. It's going to make him walk through the center. And it doesn't matter which side he goes through of this trap now, he's going to bump it off this side or that side coming or going, and you're going to catch that animal. So you have your wire coming down from your spring pole. You have one cross piece here that the snare's wrapped around. And as soon as that snare's touched, it's going to drop. And that's exactly what you want. And you want that thing to be in the center of the trail, about a fist off the ground, and you've got it locked in here. And as soon as the animal hits that snare going either way, it's gonna drop on him. And as soon as he takes another step, so again, we bring this down and we hook it in on both sides, just like this. We open up our snare loop, which I've already kind of screwed up a little bit by putting my hand in it because I've jacked the memory up a little bit. We can fix it though. Get that thing adjusted to the center of the trail, just like that. Put in some fencing and you're ready to rock and roll.